Hi, Wolfman here again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to burn a DVD um, with DVD Flick. Um, the first thing you want to do is come up here and you want to hit Add Title and Add Movie. Um, I already did. This is actually a picture because I didn't have a DVD. So anyway, you click on it, double click on it, you um, type in a movie. I'll put um, my wedding and make sure that's 4.3 you can play with this if you want it changes the picture um, chapters I like to check all three of these put mine on each 15 and then hit use as the click on use as defaults so that way the next time you open up your program you don't have to ever worry about this step again and the 15s are the by doing this, what you're doing is where you can sit and fast forward and rewind. That's what this is, from what I understand. Um, you don't have to do nothing with video, audio, or um, subtitle. Then you just want to hit accept. And then the next step, you want to click project settings. Here's where you want to put a movie in, uh, the name of your movie. So you, um, I'm going to name mine My Wedding again. Make sure that's 4.3. Um, you want to change this to um, normal. And then you'd hit accept. Um, I'm going to get rid of this for a minute. I'm going to hit accept now. And, okay, see, now it's no, uh, I hit uh, use as default and I hit accept. So it kept the. Uh, um, settings here so now I'll put back this again put back my wedding okay so I'm gonna click video make sure that's NTSC make sure it's normal audio you make sure it's 100% up here make sure it's auto playback um, if you have one movie um, I would click um, return the menu that way you play the movie and then it'll, it'll just shut off and um, it'll return back to the menu, the beginning of the uh, movie to the menu. Um, if you leave that clicked on, what that does is where you'll play it and it'll keep looping in a circle. Um, I would not do that, so I myself I'd uncheck that, and then I'd hit uh, come down here and hit burning, and go through that. But uh, if you have like two movies, three, four, or five, ten, whatever, um, you'd want to change this back to play the next title so it would play uh, all your movies say like you have five on there it would play all five movies and then it, um, it would shut off um, but if you have if you click this on it would play all the movies and it would loop back to the beginning and it would play in a loop in a circle and then the, it, the DVD player would never shut off so I don't like that so I leave that unchecked um, burning you can create an ISO file name it hit accept um, and then go to the top and hit uh, uh, create DVD and it, what it would do is create your ISO file so you can burn it later um, or you can burn do the burn process name your movie here don't touch none of those um, myself I don't check that because the blank DVDs I buy um, I don't buy the pre-writable ones um, so I don't check that I would click on eject the tray when I'm done so when it's done it will just be uh, check the tray, the DVD, so that way you know the DVD is completely done. Um, because if you don't, and you try to open up the door and you think it's done, you just wasted the DVD and then you'd have to start all over. So I'd highly recommend the eject tray button and then you hit accept. Um, or you could uh, create ISO and you could burn it and create an ISO at the same time but I don't know why you'd want to do that so I'm going to leave that part out um, anyway hit accept um, go over here to menu um, these are the, the six menus you'd have you have this one that one that one and then would be the six um, men, menus you'd have um, I have a how-to video of how to create your own um, on my channel um, here's one for an example I created Back to the Future and if you click preview you can see what it looks like um, and you can still have the play and select your title um, 
when you don't, if you create a um, menu, you don't really need two names. Like if I would have named this Back to the Future, I wouldn't, I would not have to do that because it's already here. So I don't like the look of this. So the way I um, change that is I back out of that. Go back to your project settings. Come down here, and you want to um, delete this. You just leave it blank, and then hit accept again. And if you go back to the menu settings and you click on the one uh, Back to the Future one I created, the menu I created, um, see it's gone. So if you create a um, custom uh, DVD menu, I'd highly recommend leave that up because I think it looks a lot better. But that that's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna get out of here and hit. Uh, and if I wanted it, all I'd have to do is make sure that's checked, and then hit accept, and then all I'd have to do is hit burn, and it's that easy. Uh, make sure you have DVD and Flick installed to do this, and make sure you have IMG Burn installed before you actually um, create the DVD because IMG you need IMG to actually help burn it because when this process is done. IMG burn will automatically open, and it'll it that program is actually the one that actually burns your your DVD. Um, another thing, if you just installed the DVD flick, um, this will say documents right here where it says videos. Mine, it'll say documents when you first install it. Well, you can't use documents because um, you'll it'll go through the audio, encoding the audio, encoding the video, and all that. They'll get down to menus and they'll stop and they'll say code error 53. And the only way to stop, uh, change that, because if you do that, then you'd have to start all over again and you'd keep getting that same result with the code uh, error 53. So you have to change that. And the reason why that is because Microsoft or Windows said it's a security risk and um, because of hackers and they don't want you to put nothing in your documents. So you need to change this. All you have to do is come over to browse and you want to put it on anything change it to something else like desktop or um, music or pictures me I like to put it in videos and then I'd hit OK and my, that's why mine is videos and then after you do that just create the DVD and you're good to go um, I hope this helps and uh, please like and comment I'd like to hear from you thanks bye